Only on WYFF News 4, a new town center in Malden is getting closer to completion. That's right, Bridgeway Station is already fully leased out to shops and restaurants like Stella's, Table 301, and Old Europe Desserts. Our Peyton Furtado got an exclusive tour and she has an update on the construction. She joins us live now. Now, Peyton, there's a lot of buzz around this project. Sydney, absolutely. The more than $150 million project broke ground about two years ago. And short of a moat, it's one of the most unique projects to build here in Malden. If you haven't heard of it by now, you've likely seen it from the highway near Bridges Road. It probably does look like a castle. We love that people like it from the highway, but wait till you come in. A taste of Italy right here in Malden. Bridgeway Station will be a mixed use development featuring local restaurants, breweries, shops and apartments, as well as offices and hotels, all soon to be just off the Swamp Rabbit Trail. The walkable town center inviting visitors indoors to eat, drink and shop and outdoors to do the same and enjoy entertainment and events. No one likes to walk into a big box with no windows. There's more to life than just doing that. And we want to have people have fun outside as much as inside. Developer Phil Hughes says the project has many Italian and Greenville inspirations down to its smallest details. It's really hopefully the, the magic size to where it feels like you are somewhere different, but it's close by and easy and it's wonderful where you want to come back. And that doesn't seem to exist in the suburbs right now. Many of those authentic touches down to the bricks and tiling imported from Italy. You can imagine the inflation and supply chain issues they're still facing, Hugh says. It's been a struggle in many ways and almost every subcontractor contractor has faced these supply chain issues. It has not gone away. Uh, we keep hoping it does. We keep hoping prices will be more reasonable and it is a different world. Hughes says those supply chain issues mean their grand opening will be later than expected, but expect it in the next two years or less. In the meantime, the work continues. But we hope people are moving in literally in a matter of days, and they're kind enough to understand there's still a great deal of other construction going on. We're just in the process of turning over a lot of the spaces to some of the retail restaurants on the ground floor, and that will take them several months to finish up their space. And if some of the space feels familiar to you, there's a reason for that. There were a lot of Greenville inspirations, including some of our old buildings, the firm and watchtower, uh, our old train straight station here in Greenville and Greenville's old city hall. Live in Malden, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.